Toy Poloi, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a toy restorer who does not exist. Toy Poloi, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the broken, the helpless, the powerless, in a world of collectors who operate above the law. Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now today is going to be a little bit of an unboxing video and a few little finds that I had at the weekend. So let's start off with a couple of things I found that I'm really pleased with finding. First up was this Skeletor money box. Now I've seen the He-Man one and I've uh, not often seen this Skeletor one. I went to a shop that I really like called MT Games in uh, Western Supermare. It's a bit of a sort of second handy shop and it's always very hit and miss what you find when you go there. But today I got this which is lovely. It's in really nice condition and costs a grand total of £2.99. And it's got a few little scratches on it, but it does have the little stopper in the bottom so the money won't fall out. And it's well worth £2.99 of anyone's money. And as I like Skeletor, it's really uh, a nice thing to have uh, to go on my little uh, Skeletor shelf here. Now, I also picked up this French version of He-Man. And the reason you can tell it's a French version is because the hair is a much yellower colour. And often it's uh, very damaged and the face just looks a little bit odd to me. Something strange about the mould that they use for uh, this uh, He-Man. Uh, but it's not one that you see particularly often here. On the back, if I zoom that right in, you can see it just says made in France. So uh, that's the other clear indication. And again, this guy was uh, £2.99, so a bit of a bargain. And I like just to pick up uh, He-Man and Skeletor figures whenever I can. But the one thing that I know a lot of people ask me about is to do a restoration on an A-Wing. Now, this is sadly not a vintage A-Wing. This is a modern A-Wing. But the thing that people ask me that is often broken on this is the landing gear. And this is exactly the same mould as the vintage one. And luckily on this one that I've got here, the landing gear is properly broken. So uh, I will be covering that at some point uh, because I think I know what breaks on it because it's the same sort of setup as a wire wing. So I'll take that apart and I will show you how to uh, repair the landing gear on a uh, vintage uh, A-wing. Although this is the Power of the Force uh, 2 one. So this is from sort of 1997. And as you can see, there are a couple of boxes here in donations. So let's get on with opening these boxes. So here is the first box and this comes all the way from Hong Kong. And this is a part trade I did with Raymond Fung. Uh, he uh, asked if I had a few bits that I could swap with him, things that he wanted for, for his collection. Of course I did, so I've sent them over with a few uh, other toy ploy bits, some badges and stickers and sort of other little things that I have made. Now I do roughly know what's in this box, so uh, we'll uh, certainly open it up and it won't be too much of a surprise for me. Sadly again though, this did get caught by the customs and I've had to pay a customs fee on it, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, so if you are sending stuff to me in the future, we'll try and work out a way that we can avoid having to pay these uh, custom fees uh, because it's starting to impact on the, the amount of money I have to spend on the restorations. So it's a little bit of an annoyance, but uh, let's get this box open. There's a lot of sellotape going on. Nice and well stuck together box. go opened up it's all very well wrapped and what you like to see inside is some nicely wrapped toys so let's pull these out I do know what they are so let's just take them to one side and then we'll start unwrapping these separately so here's the bubble wrap from inside if I just carefully cut that I think you'll notice exactly what it is as soon as I start unwrapping it it is a large vintage Chewbacca now I've already got a couple of these but actually all the ones I have have got broken legs and the one that uh, Raymond had to offer me here doesn't have broken legs. His ar arms are very loose and floppy as they always are but we know how to fix those. So first up we have Chewbacca. Let's open up the next set of bubble wrap. And in here we have a vintage Obi-Wan Kenobi. Again, this is a figure I don't actually have. Um, I'm slowly sort of building up a collection of the vintage 12 inch figures, uh, but the uh, ones in sort of outfits like this are proving quite hard for me to find. I have a naked Luke and a naked hand, but I didn't have Obi-Wan. So uh, although he's not complete, he has a good starting point. He's got his under robes and he's got his boots. He needs a good old clean, as you can see, but he's a nice figure. And then the last one here, 
I think you can tell what this is before I even open it. It's a Stormtrooper. So let's just uh, take that little baggie off the front. But as you can see, he does have some issues because in this bag are both his hands, but it does come with the gun. So let's uh, get the rest of this open. So here we have the rest of the figure and as you can see it's a pretty yellowed and uh, beaten up old stormtrooper. Uh, but what happens over time with these, it's just, which is something I haven't shown how to fix before, is the two types of plastic, the harder plastic of the arms and the softer rubbery plastic of uh, the hands, sort of over time melt each other, or the harder plastic melts and so the hands fall out and that's exactly what's happened on this one. So I'll look at a way of how to fix that and we can cover that in a future video. So here's a closer look at those three figures that were in that package. So a massive thank you to Raymond for doing a sort of part trade, part donation with me. Uh, these are some great future projects as I look forward to working on. The Chewbacca is obviously a fairly quick fix because we know how to do that. And check out my previous videos on how to repair the arms on these vintage figures. Uh, but the other two look like uh, they're going to be quite a good challenge. I'm not quite sure what to do with the hands on that one. And I've obviously got to hunt down a load of bits for Obi-Wan's outfit. So this is the next package and this is uh, one from Tony Burge. Now, Tony has very kindly sent me stuff before. He sent me this uh, Green Beret G.I. Joe figure because he'd seen my collection of Action Man and realised that I didn't have any G.I. Joe. So he'd already sent me this. So this one, I have no idea what it is. And again, sadly, I got caught by the customs, uh, so I had a fee to pay on it, which is, as I say, is becoming a bit of a problem here when receiving stuff from America. So I do have to be careful in future uh, what sort of things get sent to me. But uh, let's get this box open because I really have no idea what's in it. It's a complete surprise. So uh, got a knife here. Let's get cracking. Bubble wrap, always good. Let's keep on going down, and there's a letter. So let's have a quick look at that. So this says, Hello Dave, came across a few items I thought you might enjoy. Oh, I won't read the rest of it because it's a, a list of what's in there, and I always like to be surprised. So let's just reach on in and see what's in there. So first up, there is a special agent 07 James Bond's Aston Martin. Now this is a Looks like it's a Corgi reissue. So let's have a quick look in this. Looks pretty nice. Wow, look at that. It's, uh, I think I remember playing with these as a child. This is the sort of James Bond car with ejector seats and everything. What a lovely looking little toy. Looks like a really nice uh, recreation of the vintage one. Very nice indeed. It even has a little ejector man on the side there. It's also got some bits and bobs. I think this is a display case of some sort. Oh yes, it's a display case, so you can have it on display. Very nice. Right, what's next? Let's reach in here. There is a book, and this is Warman's Guide, Warman's Field Guide to G.I. Joe. How interesting, I actually have a book like this for Star Wars. I've never seen the G.I. Joe one. And there's some other bits in here as well. Pick those out. So we've got the field guide for G.I. Joe. These are pretty useful actually because they show you quite a lot of information. I did I do have these Star Wars ones. So, oh, very nice. Lots of good pictures there and information on uh, every figure. Oh, that's some uh, extra reading for me there. Then there is a G.I. Joe army manual. These are exactly like the uh, little books that uh, came with Action Man figures, but obviously this is the US version. Very nice. Another bit of reading there. And what do we have here? It's a deep sea diver fridge magnet. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Reminds me of restoring the old Action Man a few, about a year ago. And then finally, there's, there's the one more thing in here, which is a G.I. Joe outfit. This looks like the Arctic Explorer or some Arctic thing. Judging by all the bits with, that come with it, it's like an Arctic Marine. There's a the little soldier's hat. We've got trousers and jumpsuit and then ski boots. Very cool. And even goggles and backpack. That's a very nice selection of stuff. I do like an outfit like that. 
So there we go, that's a lovely selection of stuff. So thanks to uh, Tony and Raymond for sending those in. And I've just been having a look through the uh, G.I. Joe field guide and can see there's the green beret that I have here. And here is the uniform that he sent me, which is the Action Soldier Ski Patrol and uh, Mountain Sets. It's all these sort of bits here on the side. So it's a lovely little outfit. Uh, I will uh, have to find an action man to put that on. So a big thanks to those guys for sending me these things. It's uh, really lovely to receive stuff like this. Some nice projects to work on and a few little outfits for my action man. So I hope this video has been of interest to you and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram.